Ralph Maughan, professor of political science at Idaho State University and president of the Wolf Recovery Foundation, has closely followed the politics of wildlife management throughout the American West. In our August 2003 interview, Maughan spoke about the factors underlying the Montana cattle industry's hostility toward Yellowstone bison. Bison, uh, which are a uh, success story of recovery of an endangered species from 90 years ago, are by Montana state law confined to the boundaries of Yellowstone Park. And it's been the policy of Montana that if bison leave the boundaries of Yellowstone Park, which are, are not generally set on any topographic feature, they're simply straight lines in the forest, then they'll be, they'll be shot or uh, hazed back into the park or various other things. And this controversy has been going on for about 20 years. Now, the ostensible reason why this is done is that a certain percentage of the bison, and there's controversy over what percentage, are infected with brucellosis. Brucellosis is not a native disease. Brucellosis is a disease which is very costly to the cattle industry because it causes uh, pregnant cows to abort their first calf. That's the ostensible reason why they won't let bison leave the park is they're afraid they'll give the cows brucellosis. Now there's been an effort of about 40 years and over a billion dollars spent trying to eliminate brucellosis from cattle herds in the United States. And almost all of them, I think there may be one or two which still have brucellosis, but uh, it's almost been completely eliminated. And so the argument is the bison are a threat to the brucellosis free status of almost every state. Now the brucellosis free status is an actual designation they give a state. If a state doesn't have that, its cattle have to be quarantined before they can be uh, sent to another state, which can be very costly. And so the Animal, Plan and Health, Animal Plant Health Inspection Service, that is APHIS to the federal government, has every once in a while said, well, if we don't do something about the brucellosis in the Bison Yellowstone Park, Montana could lose its brucellosis free uh, status. But it's an idle threat because uh, people always focus on bison in the state of Montana. There are also bison in the state of Mont uh, Wyoming immediately south of Yellowstone Park and almost 100 percent of them are infected with brucellosis and they go wherever they want and they mingle with cattle and APHIS takes a completely different approach there and Wyoming does too. Wyoming does not shoot the bison. They let them wander basically where they want. Instead, they vaccinate their cattle against brucellosis. Secondly, in Montana, essentially all of the cattle immediately adjacent to Yellowstone Park have now been eliminated. So there's no cattle for the bison to give brucellosis to. And secondly, it's very difficult to transmit brucellosis uh, to cattle and vice versa. Then finally, uh, brucellosis can be transmitted to other species. It can be transmitted to elk. And uh, in Yellowstone, many of the elk are infected by brucellosis. And in Wyoming, in the Jackson Hole area, an even larger percentage of the elk are infected by brucellosis. And yet the elk are allowed to wander wherever they want. They're not like the bison. They're not kept Yellowstone Park. They're allowed to wander outside the park. And in fact, Hunters expect them to wander outside of the park. They count on the, on the elk hunt every winter on the northern range of Yellowstone Park outside of the park. And elk are equally efficient uh, transmitting brucellosis to cattle as bison are. And yet all the prejudice is against the bison. That's why I say it's an issue like the wolf. The elk is highly valued in the western states by most people, including a lot of people who hate the wolf. The bison is not valued uh, for various reasons. For one, it hasn't been a big game animal. It's large, uh, and there seems to be a prejudice against it, particularly in the Montana. Oddly enough, there doesn't seem to be a prejudice in Wyoming. It's probably a prejudice of a, of a few important decision makers in certain agencies, but it is, it is a cultural issue. So what appears to be an economic issue namely the grave danger that brucellosis will infect the cattle of Montana, I think on close examination,
turns out to be purely a cultural issue. It's the Montana Department of Livestock and certain politicians pushing us around and, tell, and showing us their power by killing the bison that leave Yellowstone. And so it's a clash of cultural values and they kill Yellowstone bison to show really who's in charge in the area.